Charles Bronson is back in front of the cameras after taking a break because of the illness and death of his wife. On the set of one of his latest projects, he spent a rare moment in front of our cameras with Sherry Sylvester. I used to come down here when I was in the Air Force over at Kingman, Arizona, and it's all changed. You see that building? That was like a new... I'm talking to you. That building was like new when I first came here. The buildings around his Los Angeles film set may be showing their age, but the years have been kinder to Charles Bronson. At 71, he can still shoot a high-speed chase and is arguably more energetic than his years younger crew. Okay, guys, let's uh, stand by to move out here. Born Charles Zaczynski, he worked in the coal mines with his 14 siblings and served as a tail gunner in the Air Force before coming to Hollywood. His toughness played out on screen in films with tough names. Death Wish, Messenger of Death, Assassination. It may come as a surprise then that this strong, silent type once roomed with comedian Jack Klugman. Of this truly odd couple, Bronson says Klugman was the slob he later played as the TV character Oscar Madison. He played the right part. We worked for the New York Post Office for one Christmas, delivering mail in a Puerto Rican special, special delivery. We'd come back, he'd have blisters on his toes, and he'd take his socks off and put them on the radiator. He could get dry. <laughs> You talk about stink. It's still hanging over a little bit. Yeah. Donato and Daughter with Dana Delaney is one of many new projects for Bronson. He has completed Seawolf for TNT and is going to work on Death Wish 5. This after years off spent with wife Jill Ireland before she died of cancer in 1990. You still think about it? Oh, yeah. All her stuff is still there. Her clothes and makeup and the whole thing is still there. She was far brighter than me. She had many talents, you know. She can paint, sing, act. She does a lot of things. She, she used to do work on stage and ice skates, roller skates, everything. Do you think she'll ever remarry? No way. Not because it was so bad, but because it was so nice, I could never... If I were married again, I would make, be making comparisons that would be terrible. Ireland wrote of her bout with cancer and of her life with Bronson in the bestseller Life Wish, one of three books he has never read. If things ever get a little dull, then maybe I'll read them, but otherwise I won't. When I say dull, I mean the memory of Jill and those experiences.